Welcome to the Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulator simulation, you have to you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you start your adventure, you now have to give your upcoming company a name. So I figure we'll call it Dynomat Co. And my player will be Talpers. I think that's pretty good for a person. Uh, I'll say no this time, since I have played the game before. So I'm going to develop a new game. Let's see. Let's call it... Jumping Jerry. Topic will be the mystery game. It's going to be action. It's going to be on. Hmm. I think we'll go for the G4, the G64. We'll make it 2D graphics also. Stage one on jumping Jerry. I think we'll have a good gameplay, fairly good engine, and yeah, about medi medium story quests. Now we just wait. Development stage two. I think we should have good level design, fairly good AI, and not too good dialogues. I think we'll have good graphics. Um, and we'll leave world design and sound like that. I'm gonna wait for this to finish the bugs. Let's see how the jumping chair is. Release game. The reviews for our newly released game, Jumping Jerry Jerry, well, is going to be a three disappointing by stars game. That's not good. Three. Action games work well on G64. Informed game. 3. Pretty bad. Game Hero. 3. Waste of money all game. Well, that wasn't too good. But hopefully, we can get better later on. News. Dynamite Co., a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Jumping Jerry. The game had a moderate response from the reviewers. What a curious. What. What. We are curious. What. Dynamatco will deliver in the next in the future. Sorry for my little stumbles there. Right here you can see how much money we are getting. 
this is how much money we have, these are how many fans we have, and this is a year. These will be used later to research. So I can do any of these. I can generate a game report, research, game history, or develop a new game. I'm going to develop a new game. This time we're going to check the topic before or anything. We're going to make a dancing game. An action dancing game. And we'll call it Dancing Dora. And then we'll put it on the G64. And then next, and we'll make it 2D graphics. First week of sales, Jumping Jerry sold 965 units in its first week of on the market. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k, but be careful. If your account balance is below negative 50k, you will go bankrupt. That's not good. I think we'll leave these fairly much the same. Maybe change a few things later on. Yeah, we need a pretty good level design and fairly good artificial intelligence. And we'll need, I think, we'll need fairly good world design. So we got new records for both of these. So if you guys like to see this, I just like skipping through it. Like that. Release game. Game off the market. Jumping Jerry's now off the market. It sold 3,671 units, generating 25,725 in sales. The first reviews of our newly released game, Dancing Dora. And it's a 5. I've seen better star games. Has its moments informed gamer. Man, Game Hero. 4. Action games work well on the G64. So we get a 5544. Five, four. So I'm going to generate a game report right now about Jumping Jerry. Industry news. Recent market studies suggest that the GoVoward G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over the uh, other home computer. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Our post-release analysis of Jumping Jerry is complete, and we got the following results. 1. Mr. In Action is a terrible combination. 2. Artificial intelligence seems to not be very important in this type of game. 3. Platform genre match action slash G64 good.
So now, let's say we research. That's where the research points come in. These each cost a certain amount of research points. So I'm just going to get a new topic right now. I think I'm going to get a city one. Start research. I hope you guys are liking this series. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Talfers. Don't be scratching your head, dude. Research complete. You have successfully researched the new topic, city. So let's put that to good use in the final game for today. City Builder Simulator. That's what we'll be calling this one. So make it a city simulation. And it's going to be for the G64. Next, 2D graphics. I think gameplay and engine have to be fairly high for this. Starting quest don't have to be as big. Industry news. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Boy, that doesn't sound like they're trying to rip off anything. More industry news. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off. We are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. development. In this game, the AI doesn't have to be as big, but I'll give it a bit more dialogues. Game off the market. Dancing Dora is now off the market. It sold 7,660 units, generating 53,648 in sales. Now this, I think we have to make world design really good. Graphics not as good. It's going to be about the same as the sound. Okay, here we go. Now I think we really need to get good on this one because as you can see in the right corner here we're starting to run quite low on mining. So I hope we get fairly good. Five Finite Sages Star Games. Five have seen better informed gamer. 8. Their focus on gameplay served this game very well. Game Hero. Well, it's a bit short, all game. Well, thank you, Game Hero. At least you have good, like, taste, I guess. So we'll just get a little bit more money. And then we'll end up this episode here, guys. Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and, and, and are announcing their plans to release a new home gaming console named TES early next year. The, the console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Who seems to be doing well. Fans. City Builder Simulator was so successful that we now have 23 fans. Thank you for 23 people. 
to end it here, guys. Sorry to say that, but I have, we have to just end the recording here, so...